Hi, my name is Mike Emmer, and I'm your adjunct instructor for your psychology class. I teach two different psychology classes, uh, Introduction to Psychology and also Developmental Psychology. Um, I'm doing the same video for both because I pretty much use the same format. Uh, the purpose of this video is to give you an orientation on how to navigate um, Rock, Canvas, and Cengage. Uh, first of all, to start out, you would want to go to iwcc.edu and up here you will see Rock Sign In. Uh, when you click Rock Sign In, that will open up what's called the Rock page. Um, if you need help with logging in, uh, I will show you some sites where you can get some help with that. Um, you have your email over here, and then if you scroll down, you'll see my Rock classes. And these are the two classes that I teach. Um, go ahead and click your course right here. When you go into, when you click your course, then you're using um, what's called um, Canvas. And Canvas is a learning module that is used um, for iOSter. Um, when you go into Canvas, you will see um, a list of uh, courses. You have what's called a dashboard and it'll list all your courses. I'm sorry, I'm on a student view, so it's not showing that. Um, let's go back. Um, so when you get into your course, you will see a home button. And on the home button, you'll see a little introduction to psychology, um, how the course is set up, major assignments, navigation tips. Down here, um, there's a link that puts you towards all the learning modules course resources, and questions and answers. If you have any questions, please post those under course question and answers. Um, whenever someone sends me a, whenever I get several common questions, I'll put also post them under course questions and answers. Uh, if you click course resources, okay, I have to click I'm on student view, so it's not showing. Okay, when you click Course Resources, you will see the materials required for this course. The most important thing is to be able to con re access your textbook. Your textbook is located online using a program called Cengage. Um, the, the program is called MindTap. The website is called Cengage. Um, all Iowa Western students have free access to textbooks through um, the Cengage program. So what you want to do is first connect to this link. This link will connect you up with my course on Cengage and your textbook that's needed for this class. When you click Cengage, this link is this link is also emailed to you as well. You will get you will it will open up this Engage page. And for those who were with us last year, it's the exact same email as last year. So you put in your, your email and your password, and you will be able to access your Cengage textbook. Now, within Cengage, there are also learning tools such as quizzes and um, discussions. However, any assignment that you complete on Cengage is optional and will not be graded. So it's for your learning benefit only. All the assignments for this class are not on Cengage. They are under Rock Canvas. So when you log in and you, you go to um, this website here, your, all your websites are under here. Now when you click underneath Home, well, let's go back to here. Uh, also under um, Course Resources, if you scroll down, um, here are some videos on how to use Engage. And here's a number for Iowa Western Tech Support and Iowa Western email if you, if you need help. Um, also, I, also I have some information on how to do psychological research and some other resources as well. After, under home, you will find announcements. Every week on Monday or su late Sunday night, I will post your assignments that are due the following week. The assignments are assigned on Monday. 
and they're all due 10 p.m. Sunday, the following Sunday. So the assignments that you will receive in an email tonight, you will um, complete those throughout the week, and those assignments are due 10 o'clock the following Sunday. Um, here's a, a little introduction. Um, for psychology, intro to psych, you have 13 chapters, which means you have one chapter each week. Each week you have a reading assignment, okay, and so you have to connect this engage and read unit one. And um, But remember the assignments and quizzes, they need to be done on Rock Canvas, not on Cengage. Okay, so you'll have a chapter quiz, uh, except for this week, a uh, PowerPoint presentation I'll give you um, to help you learn the material, and then you'll have a group discussion. There's also some major assignments, a uh, bibliography, a, narr a student narrated PowerPoint presentation, a reflection paper, and three exams. Now you're probably asking yourself, can I pass this class? And the answer is yes, if you meet these expectations. Make sure to check your email each Monday to read your weekly assignments. And make sure to get them done by the following Sunday evening at 10 p.m. Um, remember to do the assignments on Rock Canvas, not where your textbook is located on Cengage. Post any questions that you have under course question and answer, feel free to email or call. Um, I am available um, each evening. I do have a day job. I'm a school counselor for Omaha Public Schools during the day, but from uh, basically from 5 o'clock to 10 p.m. on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, um, please call, email, or text if you have any questions. Um, this week's assignment, if you're in psychology, is read chapter one. There's no quiz this week. Um, review the PowerPoints that explain Chapter 1. Complete the, the group discussion, which is basically, basically tell me about yourself. And then um, go to Student PowerPoint Presentation and pick a topic that you will present this semester. Note the due date. Um, each PowerPoint is due the week that we cover that chapter. So if you do Chapter 13, your PowerPoint is due the the last week when we cover that chapter, or the second last week. Okay. Um, next, under syllabus, this is a contract between you and me on what is required in this course. Uh, everything you need to know is under the syllabus. The required textbook, learning objectives, course practices, problem resolution, uh, college policies and resources, Right here, this is an important page. It has a topical outline and schedule. So it's a list of all the, um, all the assignments and when they're due. So each week, um, each week you'll, you'll be able to see which assignments are due. Um, if you want a copy of the syllabus all in one page, there's a Word document version and a PDF document. If you scroll down, this basically has the assignments due by week as well. Next is modules. Modules is the most important part of Canvas. If you click modules, every assignment, every learning activity that's, that's needed for each week is under modules. Okay. Now, as I mentioned earlier, um, we are covering one chapter each week. Uh, here are some resources that are helpful, American Psychological Association, uh, orient, this orientation video that you're watching right now. Um, Cengage um, access for your textbook. Um, but this is your first week's assignment. Now remember I mentioned there's one, one chapter a week uh, for Intro to Psychology. Actually we're taking two weeks on the first chapter. Um, after that it's one chapter a week. Now um, Developmental Psych, sorry, you have 19 chapters, so after a few weeks you will be covering two chapters each week. So we'll be doing a little bit more reading for Developmental Psych. Um, notice each week follows a pretty similar format. Um, there's a PowerPoint you can go through at your own rate. I have a narrated PowerPoint um, using PowerPoint from uh, a previous book that we used to help explain the material. 
I also have some other links that I put in that are important, that I, I think are pretty interesting. There's a crash course in the intro to psych, um, pretty entertaining material. And an, an optional video s series from my psych lab. I know some students like to see videos um, to help explain the material. These are video links. If any of these links are not working, please let me know. I will fix them. And then these are the assignments for the first week. Uh, a group discussion on uh, giving, giving a little introductions. Make sure on your group discussion you do two things. You're going to answer the prompt completely. Usually there's a series of questions. So it's the prompt is more than one question. Answer all the questions in the prompt. Uh, sometimes I give a choice of, a quest, of question sets. Answer all the questions in the question set. Okay, and then make sure you respond to two other students' posts. So you read another student's post and then respond. Uh, also, I have posted a prompt, um, some a rubric on what a successful prompt or what a successful discussion post would look like. Uh, next, under modules. If you scroll down, you will see each week, each chapter assignment and learning learning activities. Okay, we'll scroll to the top. Also, you can click grades and you'll be able to see your grades. Um, most assignments, um, I will grade on Sunday evening, uh, unless it's a large project, it might take me a few more days, but I, I usually grade the assignments. Um, at the end of the week. So if you posted something for a group discussion, um, you will see the, the grade uh, posted Sunday night or Monday morning. Um, also, you can check your attendance. My attendance is based on have you turned in your weekly assignments. If you turn in your weekly assignments by 10 o'clock Sunday night, your attendance will show present. If you did not turn in your assignments um, throughout the week, your attendance will show up as absent. Okay. And then I have some resources uh, for online tutoring and Office 365, which um, is available to you. Um, you can load on your computer so you can access Word, Excel, PowerPoint, all those important programs. Um, let's see, that's it. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to call me. Um, my number is 531. Oops, that's my work number. That's 402-707-5326. Please call in the evening between 5 p.m. and 10 p.m. on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Um, I look forward to facilitating this course and um, have a good day.